What is good guys, we're here with TDK versus EO for SPL week 01. We're gonna rewatch the first three turns where we missed. EO got up his rocks, then he got a good amount of damage off on TDK's lander with HPIs, and TDK got up his rocks. Now TDK is obviously gonna switch out because otherwise he would die to HPIs, his lander is confirmed slower. So EO should just go for U-turn, anticipating that switch to get momentum. Now we can go into either Lelego Ninja or Heatran. Um, looking at the teams real quick, let me talk about the sets. It's either Scarf, Cartana, or Scarf, Tren on TDK's side, I would assume. Uh, probably Specs or Z move Coco, depending on the Katana. If the Katana is Z, then the Coco could be Specs. But if the Katana is Scarf, the Z should be on the Coco. Um, and the uh, Hoopers is a Specs or Bandit, I would assume. On either side, it's probably AV Bulu, Megalari, um, Scarf, Tapu Lele, and Z move Heaton or Z move Greninja. Now, TDK doesn't have a good Magma Storm switch in. He can either go into his Hooper here and trying to catch E on the off power or he can go on his own heat turn if he anticipates a fire move I assume he's probably gonna go to his own heat turn here and then potentially scare out E with off power like TDK's heat turn could be scarf I think I think you have to scout for that but yeah heat turn is definitely a problem for TDK like I mean heat turn is like top five months for sure at the moment it's so good so he does make that play and it works out now, if his Heatran is not Scarfed, TDK probably doesn't want to risk the tie, which means he, he doubles exactly into either. He was going to go... Yeah, yeah, he, Hooper covers the off power. And now, that also covered, um, if you wanted to go into Greninja and his Battle Bond, that covered that. Or, and it covered the Megalady in case you wanted to go Megalady, because sometimes Megalady can come in on Heatran if it carries Surf, but that's not so common. Um, they usually are either Reflect type... Um, Call mine stored power or um, they're on like bolt beam defog. Surf is not super common. So now he went into a Mungus, which I'm surprised by. He I, he could have gone for Zen Head, but they have used Bandit to get good damage on either the Bulu or on the Landris. But he probably. Um, yeah, he went into a Mungus anticipating the the Bulu. Now he pivots into his Lando, but his Lando dies to HPIs. So this is a really obvious pivot out. So you should break this and go for U turn. Um, but that was like super obvious, yeah, he just pricked that and now he can go into either his Bulu or his Lele. And if he goes into his Lele, I think that confirms that his Lele is Choice Scarf because otherwise you br would not bring it out on the Coco to let it get weakened. Uh, so he goes in the Lele here. Um, I think there's only one play for Eo and it's Psychic and there's only one play for TDK and it's hard in the Heatran. Heatran is at, I think, 88, so it's 76 after Rocks and Psychic should do like 35%, so he should be able to take two uh, then threaten out the Lele with a potential... Um, Z flash can that's not common, but um, I think EO would have to scout for that. Also, if Lele locks into Psychic, uh, TDK could also obviously go into Hooper the next turn. I just don't think he should go hard into Hooper this turn and risk EO going for Moonblast. So yeah, Heatran is always the play here. And yeah, EO should always Psychic. Obviously, Coco doesn't have the best but and would die to Psychic in Psychic terrain, so there's no way um, TDK should stay in. There's no way he is gonna stay in. He obviously knows what he's doing. And... I'm not sure yet if the Greninja is going to be Balabond or Protein on your side. It's going to be interesting to see. So it does go Heatran as a Psychic should come out. Yep. And TDK, um, now, if he doesn't have a move to hit the Lele, then he's probably going to go into Hoopa. But uh, EO is probably going to go Greninja here. As that um, comes in on Greninja. Uh, Greninja comes in on Heatran at least for once, is what I'm trying to say. If he has... Like surf on his laddie, he can go to that as well, but I don't think he has that. So let's go Greninja in case uh, TDK wanted to go for like either Flash Cannon or Magma Storm. TDK just went Hooper, probably didn't have a move to hit the Lily. Now TDK should scout for the Greninja set because obviously if it's um, if it's Battle Bond, it could potentially kill the Hooper with Z move, and if it's Protein, it could also kill the Hooper uh, with Low Kick if it's Max Attack. If it's not Max Attack, um, he would still have to scout for a potential Z move. So let's go into Lanterns here, uh, scouting out the Greninja set. Knowing that if the Greninja is a uh, protein, it would probably be able to kill the Hooper and it's the low kick. And it probably, I assume this Greninja does have Ice Beam. So TDK should switch out here. Also, um, he went for the Z move there, which tells us that the Greninja probably doesn't have any attack investment. Because low kick probably would not have killed. So he goes Among Us on an Ice Beam. Uh, he was probably hoping for that uh, EO only has Hydro Pump. But Among Us has great speed and can eat that up anyways. Now... This, I don't know if this Among Us has Spore because he has a Coco on his team. 
But yeah, you should switch out here for sure, just in case this has Spore. Because Greninja can put in a lot of work. Now, Hooper, when Hooper comes in again on rocks, Loki might be able to kill the Hooper even without the Z. Like, he was forced to Z earlier because um, he's probably max special attack. And low kick would not have killed then. So he does this Giga Drain, making me think that he doesn't have Spore because he should have gone for it there if he had it. He goes Hooper here. Uh, Ladim usually doesn't have a move to hit Hooper. It's Reflect type. Uh, Reflect type Roost and then either Defog and Ice Beam, or it could also be Stored Power and not have Defog. Stored Power, Calm Mind, Roost, Reflect type, and then Defog either doesn't exist or Defog is on Lando. But I think Defog wouldn't exist if the Ladi doesn't have it. It would not be on EOS team. So yeah, TDK can just go for hyperspace here. Um, EO doesn't really have a switch in. Greninja has bats, but Evan will take so much from that. Um, his only potential switch in would be the Bulu. So if TDK really wants to, he can also go for Zen Headbutt. I don't think EO is going to risk his Bulu though there. Because like there could also be a potential of the Hooper having like gunk shot. So he does hyperspace. This 44, um, obviously Hooper outspeeds defensive land, so Eo uh, wants to save that, goes into Greninja. It's gonna do like half, that it's almost half, even though the Hooper was intimidated. Now low kick obviously kills since it's minus two, so TDK is not gonna stay in here. Um, he can either sack his Lando here, or he can go Among Us. I think, uh, or he can sack his Heatran. I think he should sh sack his Landros. He goes hard Among Us. I don't agree with that play as he does Ice Beam, and the freeze sucks because he can obviously regen his health back. But now he sacks the Lando. I think he should have just sacked the Lando last turn. Even though the freeze sucked, he should not have done that. He low kicks there. I don't know why he low kicked. Because I guess he was fearing... Um, no, no, no. He wasn't fearing Scarf Trend because I think Greninja outspeeds even Scarf Trend. Yeah, not 100% sure why he low kicked there. And he goes Coco here as he should just Volt Switch and Io should go into Tabu Bulu here. And now he can go into his... Um, Kartana or his Heatran. Okay, he takes it as a chance to potentially thaw out with his Among Us. I didn't think he would have done that. Um, yeah, obviously, if this Among Us doesn't thaw out, it's looking bad for TDK. Um, okay, 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 the reason why he went to this is because he wants regen. So he can take an Ice Beam from Greninja, obviously. Also, this Among Us is not Black Sludge. I don't know if there's like a random Z move that could heal Among Us's health. That would be a cool tech. Did he double out? He didn't. Okay, I think he should have doubled out there. And I get that he was trying to thaw out, but like... Um, I think TDK should go into his either Heatran or Hooper here. Eo is probably just gonna go for either Reflect type or like... Roost would have been a potential play as well. Um, I mean, TDK's Heatran can't really touch the Ladi, right? He cannot even toxic it if he has that, even if he has that, because of the fire steel type that Ladi copied. So I assume TDK is gonna go in the he uh, Hooper here. Goes in the uh, goes in the Coco. Not 100% sure about that. What he predicted there. Uh, if he predicted the, okay, he was just trying to sack. He was just trying to sack his good gen, I think, or he was trying to catch a double. So the HP Isis that would have covered the land was it gets a good amount of damage off on the Bulu and Coco gets a grassy turn back. Now the Among Us is quite Yeah, he's, I think he's gonna go either Heatran or Among Us here. Yeah, I don't think Eel would ever go for superpower, so I think Heatran would probably be a fine play here. Because the, the Among Us is just there, so like there's no point in going for superpower. He doubles out on the layer, which is a really nice play. Um, because that covers the Among Us and the Heatran, because uh, Scarf Psychic obviously kills. The only downside um, in go only downside of Psychicking is that Hooper gets a free switch in. Also, if you got in the Lily on the Kartana, in case TDK went Kartana there, then you could have switched out and scouted for Scarf Kartana, which would have been useful. Now, TDK just sacked that because he didn't want to risk his Hooper, which is completely understandable. And now he is gonna click hyperspace for you and get a kill. I assume Eo is gonna sack off his uh, either Landorus or Greninja here. The uh, Scarf Lily is obviously still useful, so there's no point in sacking this. Yeah, I think the Lando was super low. So was so is the Greninja. But Greninja has some more use. Okay, he does sack the Bulu. That gives the Hooper some grassy terrain. Obviously, that just dies because it's banded. And now he can go into either Lily, but then he has to predict, 
or you can go into yeah good ninja is a better play exactly now low kick kills obviously since this has a defense drop i don't i think it would even kill without the drop yeah like tdk just has to sack every time Greninja comes out and grassy terrain okay so i can i can actually see what eo is doing because the way he sacked the, the Bulu, this means um, Greninja gets Grassy to run back now. And if it gets another round of Grassy to run, if the Mungus doesn't saw here, um, which it doesn't, that sucks a lot for TDK. That means uh, Greninja can live another round of rocks and come back and later in the game. So I can un I can see now why he sacked the Bulu. And Mungus is taking those Ice Beams, but it's not thawing, which sucks for TDK. And I think he can... Uh, yeah, he has to sack the Mungus now because he does not have another switch in. And I think EO pretty much uh, has this game now. The Freezer and Amung sucked a lot because I would have been able to take out the Greninja by now. And if it has Spore when Tyranny is not, I be, would be able to put something to bat. But I don't think he has Spore because earlier there was a chance where he could have gone for it. Uh, so this is probably um, HP Fire, Giga Drain, uh, Poison Stab, and then I don't know what the last move would be Stun Spore on the Among Us. I, I don't know exactly, because if he had stun spell, he also could have done for gone for that. So he sacks Coco um, to get Kartana in. Now, I, I don't know if this is actually Scarf Kartana, but he's definitely... He's either bluffing Scarf or he is Scarf. Um, I still think there's a chance that the Heatran might have been the Scarfer. I don't think we got to I don't think we got to find that out because Lily could take it out with a Psychic and Scarf. Lily outspeeds Scarf Trent, obviously. So he goes for a knockoff here. Um, now Eo can go into Heatran if this is locked in. And even if it's not locked in... Oh, if it's not locked in, Pummeling will obviously kill the Heatran. So I'm not sure what Eo's best play is here. Um, <laughs> he doesn't want to go Lele because he doesn't know yet if the Katana is Scarf. Um, if Ladi is stored power as a reflect type, it obviously cannot beat the Kartana, so his only play is Heatran or Greninja. I don't remember if the uh, Lele was in range of no Scarf knockoff, but obviously you want to keep uh, Lele's Scarf. In case the Kartana turns out to be not Scarf. So he does uh, not get the roll. He's not choice, but he also didn't go for Z. So maybe he's Z, um, Z Leaf Blade. Uh, there's a Magma Storm dodge, so that is some justice. Yeah, I, I don't know why Eo didn't just go he, uh, Greninja before he went Heatran. He probably... Oh yeah, yeah, he didn't go to it because he thought it was Scarf. Yeah, yeah, obviously makes sense. But now he knows it's not Scarf. And he can go for Ice Beam here. Um, he's probably max special attack, so this should kill. Yeah. Yeah, obviously he didn't go to that because he didn't know if it was Scarf. Now... Hooper dies to Low Kick and, Grenin and the Mungus is frozen and dies to Ice Beam. So Eo does just win this game. Um, yeah, there were like one or two players that I didn't understand that game. And TDK must not have spawned his Among Us. And obviously the freeze definitely sucked. Um, yeah, we're gonna check out which teams these guys are on. And I think TDK is on the Raiders. That's what he was on last year. Let me make sure. I don't know. What if they change teams? One second, guys. I'm gonna pause it. So we can see here that um, TDK is on the Raiders and... EO is on the bigs and the score is now 2 and 3. There are some other hype matchup in the series, like Extra vs. Jinji sounds cool. So I'm definitely hyped for those. Yeah, stay tuned for more content. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. And peace out, friends.